Hello and welcome my Scorpio friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching my video. This is going to be a general growth reading for my friends born under the Scorpio zodiac sign. This reading is in celebration of Lamas. This is a pagan holiday that celebrates growth of the harvest. To embrace the energies of the day, we're going to explore the growth you've achieved so far and the growth that you can expect in the future. The deck I'm going to be using for this reading is the Everyday Witch Tarot created by Deborah Blake and Elizabeth Alba. After, I will end the session with a blessing from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle, which was created by Barbara Michael John Free and Flavia Kate Peters. I will have links below to both these beautiful decks, so if they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Okay, my Scorpio friends. Let's see what growth you've achieved so far. The Knight of Pentacles. Knights are the adolescent energy, that kind of uh, go big or go home energy. Lots of directed energy towards their element. And the element here is Pentacles, which is growth and abundance. The Knight of Pentacles is a hard working knight. He's all about putting his head down and getting stuff done. So what we've, um, the growth we've had so far is about the need the, and knowledge piece that you kind of have to work hard to get what you need and what you want. So he's talking all about that energy about how you need to work hard to achieve what you want. Let's see how this card is impacted us. What has the knight brought to us through his hard work and guidance? We have a jumper. It's the Ace of Cups. Aces are a gift of um, from the universe. They're a new beginning. Cups are about intuition and emotion. So what the uh, Knight of Pentacles has brought us is new ideas and new connection with our intuition and our intuitional creativity, which has brought us abundance. Both the pentacles and the aces talk about that importance of abundance. We have this beautiful pot of uh, gems or, or stones of some sort, and then we have this flourishing uh, field. So we've had great abundance. We know that there's been lots that we've achieved. So let's look at what, we can, what growth we're going to look at in the future. What growth we can look forward to. And that's the Three of Cups. Threes are about expression and growth. Cups are intuition and, and create our intuition and emotions. So what we're looking at is that community base, that connection piece. This can be known as the triple aspect. This is the community, the friendship. There is no leader to this union. They're dancing, they're enjoying, they're celebrating. And that's what this is. your growth is going to be about. It's about connecting in with people who are going to push you up and really support you. So there's no leader and no follower, rather a very balanced and positive relationships. The, the, that support is what's going to be your next piece. So let's look at what's going to impact, negatively impact, and what obstacles we're going to face. We have a jumper. And it's the Queen of Wands. Queens are that nurturing feminine energy of the suit. Wands are about passion and inner fire. So what's going to really dampen the Three of Cups is the Queen. Your inner passions are going to really want to push and drive you and try and control this. This union and friendship, this support doesn't need a control or a dri um, something driving it. It needs to be left alone and to flourish on its own, to grow. It does not need a micromanager of the queen. It's connected into the intuition and into the emotion, the love and friendship that's going to be needed and it'll be needed in the future to help you move forward. We can't do this alone. 
The next growth piece for you, my Scorpio friends, is the Three of Cups. That union, that support, that friendship. Okay, so we're going to have to kind of uh, placate the Queen. So let's see what will help overcome the Queen. Possibly even subdue some of her power a bit. If we could sidestep some of this, it would be helpful. Um, the friendship that the Three of Cups is offering and suggestion, suggesting, like I said, will help you in the future. All right. The Five of Swords. Fives are all about that challenge and conflict. Swords, truth, and knowledge. So what's going to help kind of overcome the Queen is truth and knowledge. Knowing and trusting in that knowledge piece. Trusting in the knowledge of your friends. Not allowing one person to control. We have three women here. One person's definitely in control. She's trying to control all the knowledge. This is where you want to be. Allowing the three people to really uh, bring forth their knowledge will help overthrow the queen. The five warns you not to allow just one person. You need all three people. You need to overcome that ego and pride and really tap into everyone's skills, abilities, and knowledge there. The three, um, whether or not it's going to be a group of three or more, um, will be left up to your community and your situation. But that balance piece is going to be very important. And what does this, what will this bring? What is the outcome of this? Justice, balance. Again, ju uh, justice is a, a major arcana, the 11th arcana. And she talks about balance and truth. These three women are, are the, the, your community, your friendship, is going to help you go forward, keeping yourself balanced, but also finding that truth, finding out the information that you need and don't have to go forward. That support and intuition to help guide you and keep you in balance. They'll help take off the blindfold so not only are you seeing with your eyes but you're seeing with your third eye as well encouraging and nurturing you so that you can go forward all right let's look at what your shadow self is warning you about and guiding you to and that's the seven of wands your shadow self is forewarning you. You're going to have to be able to stand up for yourself. You're going to have to be able to fight for what you feel is important. The Three of Cups will really support you in that. So you're not doing this alone. You're not being backed into a corner alone trying to fight off. You're going to have community and support. You're going to have that knowledge. And rather than a conflictual knowledge, you're going to have that balanced knowledge and balanced support so that you can go forward. We are constantly challenged for what we believe and what we value and that's um, something that's going to come into play so you don't have to do it alone my Scorpio friends. Let's look at the blessing. What blessing does Lamas bring for my Scorpio friends? chalice and fulfillment. We've gained a lot of knowledge and we've been able to really create abundance in our lives. This piece adds fulfillment in our lives. This will help fulfill and really brim up our, our chalice of life, our cup of life, because we're not going to be alone. We're going to have that support and the support we've been looking for for a while. So it's going to be kind of stepping outside the box that we've created and putting ourselves out there. Who and where you're going to connect with, 
that's up to you. But putting yourselves out there and showing the world that how amazing you are and what a valuable friend you would be. Okay, for those who wish, you can pause the video and reflect on these cards. This is a group reading, however the cards were meant for you. I drew these cards specifically and especially for my Scorpio friends. What are they saying to you? Everyone has intuition and can gain guidance through the cards. What further information do the cards share with you? I hope you found this video helpful and that you were able to gain some insight into your growth and what you've achieved and what you can expect in the future. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. I will continue to create videos for my Zodiac friends in the upcoming weeks. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave it in the comment box below. I'm always up for information from my friends. Also, if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. You never know where I'm going to go next. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. I've provided a helpful link below, so go check it out. Until tomorrow, my Scorpio friends.